Hi everyone, in this video we will take a look at how we can start ClickSense Reload Tasks, the client managed version of ClickSense running on Windows, how we can start reloads there using uh, webhooks um, that are available on the public internet. So we, we have a, an Azure hosted webhook in the form of a function app and uh, that function app will send a message uh, once it's called to the event grid MQTT broker. And uh, Butler then is running on the local computer here, subscribing to uh, the MQ MQTT topic where the message arrives and uh, Butler then knows how to start reload tasks in sense. So we're looking here at, a, um, at four different windows. In the top left, there's a curl command that will send uh, a message to the to the webhook you see that uh, the url is uh, something something uh, azurewebsites.net which is uh, typical for an azure webhook so this is actually available on the public internet so we can start reload tasks in clicksense by just calling a url in uh, on the internet so uh, that's um, the webhook and uh, at the bottom left here we have the logs from uh, the Azure function app that the webhook triggers. So after calling the webhook, this function app will trigger and um, it takes the payload from the um, from the webhook call, from the HTTP call, and forwards that payload, that body, into MQTT. That will then, um, that butler in the top right here, subscribes to the same MQTT topic that the function app uses and Butler then takes the payload of that uh, MQTT message and um, interprets it at, as a task ID then starting that reload task. So we should note here that the last um, reload took place on um, today 23rd of January at 1702 local time here and this is a task id task id here 05 e1 is the same as used up in the uh, upper left here 05 e1 same task id so let's see what happens um if we start the task the, the if we run the command in the upper left here we should see action in the log files here for the function app we should see a message showing up in Butler, in the upper right here, Butler should receive a subscription uh, message over MQTT and then the last execution timestamp should update as well here in ClickSense. So let's go! The initial curl was sent and we saw that almost immediately the uh, message appeared here in, uh, um, in Butler we did not see anything in the function app and that can actually happen sometimes it's not a, it's more of an azure issue um, sometimes there's a need to to refresh this uh, monitor here not a big problem if we refresh the um, this page here the in, the in click sense we see that the call took place at about 1717 so we should see something like that if we refresh here and well 1716 so the call took place the and eventually ended up with the clicksense application being reloaded or the, the reload task being executed which is what we wanted that concludes the demo